and welcome to Culinary Immigration Cooking School. This is my kitchen and this is where I teach my wonderful classes. I'm going to teach you today how to make a Sardinian cracker and it's called Carta de Musica. They are thin sheets of dough that are baked and they turn into this crisp little cracker and I've kind of put up my own swing to it. I am adding some fresh oregano to my Carta de Musica. And this is gonna be something extraordinary. Trust me, I love oregano and I have it fresh in my yard. So I've chopped it up and I put it in my dough and I'm gonna teach you how to make this treat with even some sourdough. So, Let's get cooking. And we're going to add our chopped oregano and about a tablespoon for this amount of flour and durum. And then a touch of water. Now, if you're not using the sourdough starter, you might need a little more water as you're working this. So we wanna pour that in the middle keeping our little uh, dam together here. And we're just gonna simply um, mix it up. Mix it together while we're adding. And this part is very crucial because if you don't do this, you're not going to get a proper consistency. So, let's see here. And there's an old wives' tale that says if you break the dam, you're not gonna get married, <laughs> which I don't think is true because I've broke many dams <laughs> before. Okay, so you can see it's starting to come together and it's not gonna break the dam, but we're gonna get it nice and mixed up. And when it gets to this point is when I like to add my um, uh, flour, use my bench scraper a little bit. And it's going to be, um, a soft dough and you're gonna see it's a little sticky at first you may not need all the flour um, so what I'm doing I'm testing for my uh, let's move this excess flour because I can feel that it's wet but not sticky and this is how I want it it's wet but not sticky it's not sticking to me but it's very wet and soft, and that's how you want it. So I'm going to knead this. You don't need any excess flour. If it gets a little sticky, maybe you can add a touch from your pile that you pushed away. And you'll see that it is wet, but not sticking to my hand or the board. And this is the consistency that we want. I put the dough into a Ziploc here, just to keep it nice and moist. And you can see it's still a little sticky. About 10 crackers. Okay, you can start the ball a little bit in your hand and just simply lightly press and roll it around and get a nice little ball. This will help to ensure them to be as round as possible. So I'm gonna take a smaller uh, round dowel that I've made for my dim sum. I just like to work with something a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna press them out into, on a floured surface to a nice little round ball. And then we're just gonna simply uh, press and roll until we get it into a nice little round shape. And just simply make it as thin as possible. But if it's a little harder to work, you just and then roll. As you can see, very thin. They call it sheets of musica. Kind of a fun name. Yeah. And this with the sourdough rolls out really easy. This is perfect, see how thin that is? Now I'm going to just simply, because we have all that beautiful oregano, 
in there. We don't want to distract from that. So we're just going to simply uh, put some olive oil. So now we're going to sprinkle some salt. And I use kosher salt because it has such a great uh, flavor. Okay, there we are. So what I do is you can use a cookie sheet or you can use uh, a pizza stone like I am. Either way, you wanna heat them up until they're very, very hot. And then you're gonna just slap one of these little babies on there with the olive oil up. I don't have any um, oven lights in my Volcon, but you can see they're nice and bubbly on the top, so they're almost done. Hello, and I have it here on my counter. This is the fresh oregano with sourdough. Delicious, look at these little guys. Nice and crisp for you. And then I did a beautiful uh, one without oregano with some cinnamon and sugar on it for my grandkids. Now these little guys, once they've cooled completely, can be stored into a Ziploc bag. But I wanna make sure they're really, really cool, so I leave the bag open and usually in a few hours, I'll come back and zip it up. As long as they're kept from moisture, they will stay nice and crisp for a long time and works well in a Ziploc bag. It's amazing. Mm. You can probably hear the crunch. Like I said, delicious any time of the day. Snack, serve it with your salad, like a little crouton, you're gonna love it.